Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We are here in the infield section at the historic Daytona International Speedway. And of course, walking around to the different booths, we had to stop at the Acura display because look at what I have next to me. This is it. This is your 2024 all new, first time ever electrified Acura ZDX Type S. But before we get into this Stormtrooper looking ZDX, let's talk about what's going on here. Rolex 24 hour race is happening this weekend and Acura is in the field, not only in the GTP prototype class, but also still going strong with the NSX, that top selling performance car from Acura. Now, what's fascinating is, is that those cars still using an internal combustion engine, the GTP class, which are the prototype cars, are now hybrid powered. So that means you have the electric motor assist, but you're still using an internal combustion engine. This ZDX, the name isn't new, but the vehicle is totally fresh because this is Acura's first BEV, battery electric vehicle. But what I want to find out is there's a lot of competition in this segment. Obviously, vehicles like the Model Y from Tesla, the Model X, you have Audi's e-trons, lots of different vehicles, even Genesis now electrifying their SUVs. What I want to find out is, is the Acura ZDX Type S worth the price if you're looking for that performance in the electrified midsize SUV? Let's go ahead, let's dive into this snowflake pearlescent white ZDX Type S and find out. Right off the bat, the style. I love the way they brought that signature front end design to this new ZDX. So you're gonna have your daytime running lamp, which is that LED chicane DRL. That's also gonna be your turn signals, all LED. And then you have that multi-jewel LED headlight setup. Very slim, very sporty, but like I said, you could tell that this is an Acura. Working our way down, you do have some gloss black in the corner air openings, and they are functional. So you have functional air curtains to help smooth out that air, because remember, part of the challenge with an EV is you want performance, but you want range as well. And one of the ways to do that is to help cut down on drag and clean up the air that fit, that hits the front of the vehicle. Now with this being a Type S, you'll notice that we have some bright silver accents within that gloss black area, but definitely has that sporty signature precision crafted performance design that you're accustomed to with Acuras. Now as we drift into that center section, you have that ginormous Flava Flav Acura badge. He would wear that around his neck instead of the clock. That's where they house the forward facing camera. And I love how they took the DRLs and brought it into this top frontal area. That gives it that highlighted precision crafted performance design, even though we don't have the need for a grill up top. So I like the way that they did that. And I think that that is a, a, a way that different brands are going to separate themselves is how they do their lighting to give it that distinct personality and that design philosophy that goes with the specific brand. Now working our way down, we do need airflow because we have a liquid cooled battery pack. And what you're gonna find is in this lower grill area, that's where the air is gonna be brought in to help cool that battery pack. Now, if you're wondering, well, what size battery pack is in this Type S ZDX? You're basically looking at 102 kilowatts. So different battery size for different applications. When you go ZDX Type S and you check that box off, you're getting dual electric motors. So we have a motor out front and a motor out back to give us all wheel drive. But definitely loving the white with the black. Remember, we already brought you that double apex blue, which looks good, but I'm really liking the Stormtrooper-esque style of the ZDX. Now, as we rise up, just like you find on your other Acuras, you're gonna have that nice rise that then evaporates as it goes towards the windshield. 
And everything, like I said, has been designed to cut down on drag. Drag is going to hurt our range, but we still need to keep a suitable shape for the vehicle. And I think a lot of people are going to like this one because it is a two-row crossover electrified SUV. Now, as we come around the bend, you're going to get some unique setup when it comes to the ZDX. What we have, not 20-inch wheels, not 21-inch wheels, 22-inch wheels, ginormous manhole cover size wheels. I love the way that they've done the indentations with the design. No machine aluminum, just all gloss black. And we also have these Twinkie colored Acura branded Brembo calipers. That's going to give us some nice braking capability because like I said, this is a performance electrified SUV. With the dual motors, motor up front, motor out back, you're looking at five, 500 horsepower in this vehicle. Now, if you're wondering what's the size of the tires, 275 on the width, 40 series sidewall, and I like how on the Type S, it's got those bright Twinkie yellow Brembo calipers. Gives it a nice distinct look from your standard ZDX, which remember at the LA Auto Show, we brought you the A-Spec. So that is another version of the ZDX that you could get. Around the openings, you do have some gloss black. The good news is it doesn't go too high into the fender. And I think with the pearlescent white, it really pops nicely, especially with the black wheels. You're gonna have regen braking on top of that as well to help recharge that battery. Now, when we come down the side, there's your charge port door with that Type S badge. Interesting to see, you got the MDX, the Acura Integra, the TLX, they're all could be available with a Type S performance level. The only one that isn't available as a Type S is the RDX. Working our way down the side, you do have your gloss black in the mirror caps, your LED turn signals. On the Type S, you go two-tone. So we have the pearlescent white with our full blacked out roof, like the way that it flows into the eight pillars and you have roof rails. That's something that some of the electrified SUVs are getting rid of the roof rails to cut down on drag. This, you have your roof rails so you can get crossbars if you're gonna use this on a little bit of a road trip. And if you're wondering what about range, you're looking around 288 miles with this particular setup. But you'll notice the color match on the door handles. I like the way that they use the silver as well. So it's not all body color. And that's where, if you don't go with the white, and say you went with the double apex blue, the silver accents kind of pop a little bit more, but it looks really clean on this particular one. Only a little bit of bright, shiny metal work up top. I'm glad that they didn't put this around each of the openings. I think that would have been too much. And the way that it just kind of tapers down into this knife edge, into the rear quarter, is fantastic. Now, you're gonna have the same dimension wheels and tires all the way around, those 275s, give you that all-wheel drive performance. And then I'm gonna have Steven kind of swing around and notice one of the things is that the body line for the rear quarter actually starts on the front doors. So you'll notice how on the front door it starts to flare out, gets a little bit more into the rear passenger door and then into that rear quarter panel with your chicane style LED brake lights nicely done on the rear of course you got to have the type s badge and you'll also see how they kind of took that same design from the front and brought in the rear the only zonk is these are non-functional i wish that they maybe would have put some lighting in there or something maybe to make it functional but still looks great and then i'm going to kind of straddle this a little bit because what you'll find is you have your acura badge nicely flush mounted into the back it does have an exposed wiper, and I'm gonna to have to zonk that because I wish that they extended that out a little bit further. But the two-tone looks fantastic. And then working our way down, very, very clean on the bottom portion and just some flat black. But why don't we go ahead, I have the keys to the ZDX. Let's get inside and see what they're bringing. All right, guys, we are inside this 2024 Acura ZDX Type S. So I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I want one of these. I want a performance 
SUV. I want something that has that Acura style and luxury, but I also want something that has the performance. How much is it? We now have pricing. When you go Acura ZDX Type S, I hope you're sitting down. You're looking at a price tag of $73,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. I absolutely love the two-tone style. The red finish with the black stitching. You'll notice that we have two memory seat settings for the passenger, and you have that real aluminum trim there. Nicely done. We got the Bang & Olufsen sound system with the aluminum speaker grill covers and a door pocket that's a pretty good size. You could get a Daytona cheeseburger from the Speedway here and a milkshake to wash it down. Now going from the door panel to the dash, you'll notice how much lower the dash section is. Unique style. Let me know how you feel about that. And remember, this vehicle is Acura's first vehicle to use a Bang & Olufsen sound system. But I love the red stitching, soft touch material, this flat black section is nice to not have gloss all over the place and then you slide on in what do you have an over 11 inch infotainment system all touchscreen with a real volume knob i like the way you could go into charging pull up that information i could go back home very easily let's see if i could get the cameras to come on this is always fun so here we are at the track and we're able to get the different cameras to come on very easily love the way they have that set up so straightforward and then of course you got tons of different apps to choose from, including, of course, we have the Bosch Cam as well, which is really nice to have all of that set up very easily. You could do your child safety locks, all the different settings, one, two, three, ambient lighting, Waze, Spotify, the whole nine yards. Now working your way down, you got your two AC vents with a little bit of silver trim, real, knobs and buttons for the dual climate control we have three stages of ventilated seats three stages of heated seats all easily touched with a push of a button or you could go into the infotainment system if you want to do that so it's up to you how you want to attack your climate controls and see i could turn it on and do it right through the screen working our way back down you got two usb c's we have a 12 volt and then we have this nice little pad here to put some Twinkies, maybe uh, uh, some Snickers. Down below you have a totally usable space for a five pound bag of Florida oranges or a five pound bag of Washington State apples. Depending if you're an oranges kind of guy, I know you're not supposed to compare apples to oranges, but sometimes I like to just think outside the box. Two cup holders, you got your wireless charging, and then you'll notice how they have that beautiful red trim with the stitching. Let's open up this bad boy. What do we have? You have enough room in there for a Tom Brady signed football. So you could put that Tom Brady football in there. Maybe in 30 years, it'll be worth something. Maybe not. And then the seats, the leather, the piping, the Type S embossed, the Alcantara material, full electric assist for the passenger, full electric assist for the driver. And guess what? I'm not done we have that ginormous panoramic sunroof with the power shade, ba-bam. But why don't you get your butt over here? I wanna show you behind the wheel of this new ZDX. All right guys, business time behind the wheel. You do have two memory seat settings for the driver's seat as well. You'll notice the Type S badge on the aluminum sill plate. And then you do get an aluminum brake pedal and throttle, just no real dead pedal i mean you have this area i just wish they would have put some aluminum down there so you don't mess up the carpet seats the full electric assist make it perfect to your body type i'm six feet tall and i got plenty of room in here and then the steering wheel love the thickness very thick steering wheel with the red stitching the type s badge flat black on all the switch gear you could do some regen braking and actual braking with your finger on this little toggle switch here. That's normally for like gears, but this is for actual braking. And then you have that beautiful 12 inch digital display, full color graphics. You could go through a cornucopia of different information, which is awesome. You can see how I could bring everything up on the right there. Very, very simple. I go, ooh, did you see that? You could bring up your Google Maps. There we are at Daytona. I'm not lying. 
And remember, this is a pre-production model, plus you have a head-up display. And don't forget, this has adaptive suspension. So that's another thing that really sets it apart. Well, why don't we get in the back seat and see how your rear seat passengers are gonna like the ZDX Type S. All right, guys, we are here. Like I said at Daytona, it's awesome to hear race cars on the track. I can't wait to go watch some racing, but I wanted to bring this special for you. Backs of the seats, you have that soft material. I like the way it's black, because if your kids are eating powdered donuts and they get their fingerprints all over this, you could clean it very easily. You do have large pockets. This is where you could put a back scratcher, maybe some books, maybe a mirror. And what is the mirror for? The mirror is for who's sitting in the back seat. I want them to learn that they need to love themselves before they could ever love anybody else. And that's an important thing to learn. If you can't love yourself, how are you gonna love anybody else? And that's what that mirror is for. Not to be an egotistical maniac or something like that. I just wanna put that out there. Now you do have a nice command center here with your rear AC controls, adjust the temperature, your blower fan. We do have heated seats, but no ventilated seats for the rear seat passengers. So to me, that's a zonk at over $70,000. Down below, you got two USB-Cs and a home power source. And then, because this is just two rows, you have a ton of room back here. Not even close to the headliner. Love the way you have the aluminum speaker grill covers throughout this whole thing. You are like wrapped in one big speaker. It's like there's more speakers in here than there was in Sound Advice stores or Circuit City. You got your manual shades for when people are staring at you. You can just be like, don't look at me. And then of course, nice Charmin soft armrest, two cup holders, and I love the way they do the material. The Alcantara, the piping, everything feels spot on the money back here. But let's check out the cargo area and see what we could stuff in the ZDX. All right guys, cargo area time. Now a lot of times when we're not at an auto show, things are not as hectic, things may be are specifically for display, but I want to show you something. You hit the button, you have nice electric assist, and then you can see just how much stuff you could put in here. All of these boxes easily go into the back with that rear seat up. And if we had more boxes, more cleaning supplies, more things to hand out at the racetrack, you'd be able to magnify that and do even more. But Steven could show you just how much room is back here, even with all this stuff. And you do have buttons. I don't know if Steven can show you. You do have buttons on the driver's side to fold down the rear seat from the back of the vehicle. But I know that you want to go for a drive. Like I said, 500 horsepower, all-wheel drive in this vehicle. We're going to be doing that in the next couple months, so stay tuned for that. But we need to wrap it up here at Daytona. All right, guys. It is an amazing experience to be here at Daytona. If you've never been to a racetrack, especially Daytona International Speedway, you definitely need to come out and treat yourself because this is really a special feeling to be here. But I definitely got to thank the whole Acura team for allowing us access to this snowflake pearlescent white ZDX Type S. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Is it worth the $73,000? That's a lot of do re mi. Is it worth the 73 Gs? for what you're getting performance and range wise. Let me know how you feel about in the comment section, but if you're new to the channel, you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Raised Rights family. Of course, none of this would be possible if it wasn't for Stephen Flood. Stephen Flood Photography, he's back for more here at Daytona. We popped this cherry. He's no longer a Daytona virgin. So thank God for that, Stephen. And just like always guys, I'll see you on the next ride.